that, that, and all of these, and Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the super hectic intro. We are 10 minutes late to where we need to be. I got the trailer in tow. I don't know if you can see that through the back window. It's kind of dark. But we are on the way to pick up the next project for the channel. This one is, honestly, I'm kind of excited for. It's old. It is very, very old. And it needs work. So, catch up with you guys in a second when we go get this thing all loaded up. I know you guys can't see this through the disgusting cracked windshield, but it is starting to snow. It's 49 degrees. Great. Can never buy a project on a day that has nice weather, can we? Well, we're just gonna keep on trucking, I guess. We are currently following the owner, the blue car up there, out to where the project is located. I have no idea where they're taking me. Let's see how this goes. All right, so it is currently the next day. I've just got back from work. The project's already unloaded and it's right behind the camera. You can't see it um, by the thumbnail though. You know that it's a bike. She's, uh, she's pretty ratchet, not gonna lie. Definitely needs some work and I'm excited. This thing's gonna be sick. So without further ado, there she is, all 1976 glory of her. This is a 76 XL 250. You can't tell because there's no markings. That That's missing. That, that's sick. But this is the channel's new cafe build, cafe racer build. It's gonna be sweet. The bike does not run. Currently, currently doesn't run, but it's got a brand new transmission in it. It's leaking from the crankcase. Um, other than that, it should start and fire right up. But I've got big plans for this bike. Uh, cafe style build. We're gonna make it street legal. There's no headlight, blinker, horns. That's getting trashed. New paint job, but it's gonna be sick. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, we got some other plans to do tonight though. I'm going to get a windshield banner put on my car. Lower control arms are gonna be put in. Those are over there somewhere to be prepared for Saturday because Saturday we are going to a autocross event, the first event in the Mustang. I'm stoked, I'm so excited to finally get racing in a car that I've been building for the past while. And I'm also stoked to get ready on this thing. So we're gonna jump onto the time-lapse we're gonna start this assembly. I'm taking the fenders off today, possibly the gas tank. We gotta get some things cleaned up, so let's get right into it. looks a little different now got the seat and the fender all taken off on this side front fender gone bye didn't need you exhaust gone check out this sick mod we got here here's the part that attached to the motor we're gonna go around 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 yeah it's mint Here's the rest of the exhaust. I just 
leaned against my keys and turned my car on. Let's uh, go ahead and shut that off. I was wondering what that beeping was. Anyways, exhaust pulled off, fenders, seat, gone. Um, check out this sick work. It's just some OEM. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's chalk. Or scratch marks. One of the two. I mean, she's not bad. They definitely tried. This was a project for someone that didn't really know what they were doing, but wanted to do something. I mean, it's... Those are spray-painted silver. It's a solid attempt there, but Frame looks all right. Nothing to really write home about, though. Uh, just gonna keep on trucking, I guess. I gotta get rid of those bars, those are hideous. All right, that beautiful custom tank is now off the bike. This was just the carburetor. Throttle cable. That is not connected. What the freak? Oh, there it is. I have a new one of those. Thank goodness. That thing is ratchet. This whole thing is ratchet. Let's be real. Like, what? Wiring harness is there. Pretty sure that's for the tail lights. Pretty sick. Honestly, I don't know what any of this wiring is for. Huh. Anyways, uh, we're making this bike completely street legal. So, headlight, tail light, blinkers, horn, mirrors. That should be it, I believe. I wanted to get the integrated one from this dowel to this dowel, where the rear fender, right, right here, was bolted to. I'm hoping that's the wiring for it. And then we're gonna do a classic style headlight right there. Clean up this wiring. I'm a little confused, but just going with mint. All right, so we're gonna cut it here and then we're gonna pick up after we get the windshield better put on this car and lower control arms and we'll be right back here. See you guys in a bit. All right, that's that's windy. Um, it's just now two days later. I have been super busy since the last section of the video when you saw me working on the bike and whatnot. Uh, I said we were gonna go get the windshield banner installed. We did that. That sticker's important. I don't know if you can see it, but it says at Camco 2013 Instagram and YouTube logo. Turned out exactly how I wanted it to. It looks mint. It was really bubbly, but it looks like it's starting to come out now. The car's absolutely filthy. We were able to get the... See if I can stick you guys back up in there. Uh, lower control arms installed, which was able to help me make it to the event that we went to. Got some funny numbers on the car. And my tires are very heat cycled now. The seat was well used. And I have a lot of footage to go through. I hope you guys are excited for the next video because I sure am. It was an absolute blast. And I'm excited to release it to you guys. Also, funny thing, when I revealed the bike, it's back there, hiding behind my trunk mat that I had to take out. My dad went out and bought another one. It is a 175cc 1980 compared to my 76. His is in a lot better condition than mine is, of course. His exhaust is there and everything is intact. It has a no spark issue, which we believe is the coil. Um, but dang, he's got tack on there. I need to get me one of these for my bike. I'm deleting that and this. But yeah, she's pretty sick. Um, other than that, we'll just have to wait until the next video. My name is Camera Guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps out the channel. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. And if you're ready for the next video, it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. Got a lot of footage to go through. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.